CEO of Quincy, I have the distinct privilege and honor to be able to firsthand witness the purpose and impact that our agency does in the community. We are able to provide so many self-sufficient and self-evident uh, programming with uh, a strong emphasis on being community-minded and community-first. That is one of the main reasons why I was uh, fortunate enough and, and with great gratitude to be able to be part of Concilio because we are in the community, we are working firsthand with people that oftentimes don't realize they need the support and when they do realize it, we're here to have an open mind and an open hand to support them in whatever situation they may be in as well as whatever situation they may not be aware of that we can support them in. What I love most about working here at Concilio um, is the leadership, including the executive directors and the board of directors. And I say that because in a lot of different places that I've worked at, you don't see the leadership in the day-to-day -day operations out with the community and with the events. And here, that's all we do. Whether it's myself or the CEO or even board members, they're always at events. You will recognize any of their faces at any of the events that you go to. And I think that's like something that's really honorable working here in this agency. So as the director of the program, one of the things I find most fascinating about my position is being able to work and interconnect all of my departments as of one. In our foster care department, our primary goal is to um, take care of the safety and well-being of the children in our care. Um, and our permanency goals require us to achieve reunification with our families. With our parenting collaborative, we're able to work directly with those parents to help reaffirm some of their parenting skills in order for their children to be reunified. In the event that our children are not able to be reunified, we have an adoption unit in which we're able to identify forever homes for the children who may not be able to go home to their biological families. In our victim witness services, we work directly with families who've been uh, victims of high crimes such as uh, assault as well as uh, homicides. And we're able to work with those families to help provide them the support that they need uh, through their uh, tragedies. I'm the Director of Community-Based Services here at Concilia. We focus on a number of educational programs. Our first program that we do across the city serving 350 young people is our Voices Over Violence, where we talk about our anti-violence gun education. We have two out-of-school time programs with our local elementary schools, where we also run summer camps throughout the community. We have our youth development program, where we focus on career development and partnership with Philadelphia Pew Network. We have our Youth Empowerment Center, which has newly opened, where we're servicing 600 students currently and are upscaling to 120 to 200 students a month, focusing on workforce development and career readiness. Through our digital media service platform, we are helping local high school students come up and create films that center around their voice. Concilio, uh, with its long history, has been known for two main things, helping the community out with whatever immediate services they may need, but also um, keeping the culture of the Latino community in mind. And Concilio has had the honor of hosting two signature events in Philadelphia, one being the Philadelphia Puerto Rican Day Parade, which has been in existence since 1963, and the other being the Hispanic Fiesta, held at the Penn's uh, Landy Great Plaza, which has been in existence since 1981. These two events bring together the Latino community to not only show our culture and heritage, but to be able to bring it to the next generation so that we continue to honor and pay homage to the people who have been here before us and take it on to our kids and their kids moving forward. Do I think Concilio can change the community and do I think that the community changes by attending any of our programs? Absolutely. I would say the biggest thing is that not only do we serve the community, but we employ the community. So a lot of our employees live in the community and our employees give us insight on what we need to do, how we need to do it, who we need to do it with, um, and the resources that are still needed. So, you know, when you come to any of our events, everything that we do really has a buy-in with the employees because the employees are the voice of the community. And I do believe we're making a change because we're making a change from within um, using our resources, including the staff. I would say we here at Concilio support 
who you are, what you do, and what you want to become. We have staff who have various experiences and life circumstances who are here to help, guide, and to encourage you along your way. There is not a dollar we won't spend. There is not an opportunity we won't look to if it means your success. Here at Concilio is a place where you can find friends. It's a place you consider home and a place where people will always have your best interests at heart. 